Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest by Nintendo Samurai. So, I have some news for you. I found out when I leveled up that you don't get your magic power back. Kind of sucked, but I used the seeds so that I could get some magic power back, because they completely restored, I do believe. So, anyways. So, I killed all the enemies in here. This is where we last left off. And then I killed the enemy to get into here. Now, if you look, the floor from above that you saw before, the reason it was like that is so you could see through into here a little bit. So it's sort of a maze, there would be monsters everywhere. There was a whole bunch of monsters over here you had to get through to be able to get through to here, because there was a guy standing right here, so it's not like you could jump over like I just did. And then there's this fucker. So, I'm going to save here. And let's take him on. Now, I think... Oh, by the way, the uh, turtles are weak to axe, and I think this guy might be as well. Nope, he's not. But it's not like it's the worst thing to do. Oh, must have gotten a critical on those things. What? I brought my magic down. What? That is not fair. Oh, I did not mean to use both attacks on it. Oh, well. Oof, that's a word. Anyways, this boss is much harder than the skeleton, or skeletal dragon. There we go. Okay. See, we've barely done anything to it, especially since it had those people to help it. So, I'm going to use fire magic, and then I'm going to get her to heal. So that's the nice thing. Is Wait. Huh? I guess if you try to cure a dead person, it'll hurt them. I'm not sure. I'm not going to try this on a boss. I'm not going to try to heal them. But yeah, you can multi uh, your group if you press down. So that's good. So, alright, let's use some thunder. And some fire, of course. The fire's doing about as much as the axe, so I might want to save my magic. Ooh, he is not looking happy. Oh, barely did anything, but it probably took down some more of her magic or something. You know what, let's try Quake. And Thunder. Does a lot of damage. I mean, it is kind of a water-like creature. Oh, it's strong again, so that sucks. Ooh, that hurts. Um, You know what, let's use bombs against it, and then heal us both again. That way she can get to full health and he can get pretty far. So that's what happens. He's like, oh, I'm ashamed, and covers his face. So, alright. Um, you know, I'm gonna heal him, and I'm gonna use her thunder again. Because it does a good chunk of damage. In fact, he'll probably be dead in the next set of attacks. Unless he blinds her where she has a chance to miss. Let's just do this. At least it's not like confusion where she has a chance to kill us. There we go. Look at that. <gasps> What's this? That must be the Libra Crest. Let's take it and go to the Libra Temple. There's a mark there that looks just like the design on this crest. Stand on it and we'll be warped to the Life Temple. So basically, we just did a temple that was more like a dungeon to get to the temple. And now it's... Yeah, and it was already hard enough. Now we have to go to the other one. The good thing is, if I'm correct, that they don't have any new uh, enemies there. It's all the old ones. So, okay, I came back and killed these people too. You know, more the merrier. That's when I leveled up, so... Uh, let's switch back to this. Yes, I do believe you actually have to go through all of this to get back, so... Don't get upset with the fact that I'm doing it. There's no warp out. It's not like Strider. Even then, Strider was... I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't anything fantastic. I did enjoy playing it when I was playing it normally, but since I ended up playing it like an LP kind of playing it, it got really frustrating. So, I don't know. I think just down here is the beginning, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it right there. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here and never come back. Looks like we can go to that, but I'm gonna go heal up first. Ugh, it's gonna cost a fortune, but I better do it. 
a 95 GP is a ripoff, really. This person should be slapped for ripping off the savior of the world. Screw that. So, um... I don't know if I should just go and take care of that now or what. I'm tempted to go back to the bone dungeon and get some more seeds, because that could be really useful. Because I think that's the only place I know if you can get them right now, but for now I'll just battle through some of this. Oh, new guys, I forget what they're weak to. Shit. Um, let's try that. Cat Claw missed, so I don't even know if it's weak to that. Thunder! They're not weak to it, but it does a good amount of damage. Um, Desert Hag. Really? You're not in the desert, and you don't look like hags. You look like some sort of swamp man. Alright, uh, let's just blow him up. Then shoot him. Okay, apparently bow and arrow is still rather effective. Bombs are ineffective. And... Oop, nope. Let's see about the axe. It misses! Yay! Perfectly effective at missing. Seriously? 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 Screw off. Maybe next time we'll just do regular attacks. This is the next time. Let's just do some regular attacks here. Let's see what happens. I miss! Yay! Friggin' lovely. But she can kill it in one hit. I just miss. Stop that. Wow, that hurt. Hurt me more than it hurt her. Eh, 172's not terrible. Oops, should've had her attack the other one. Oh. Let's heal up a little. It's funny, you say heal up, but you're using the cure spell instead of the heal spell. Yeah, you think that cure would cure sicknesses, not your damage? I don't know, they, they seem to have that shit next, next, mixed up. Bow and arrow, dead! Let's see what fire can do. Weak against fire, excellent. I should have known. So that's all you do then, is you just keep using fire attacks. Because why would you, you know, waste anything else on them if you can just bow them and then fire them? The problem is, you might go first with the fire instead of her going first with the bow. So you're only going to do like 200 damage to each, so you're not going to kill them in one hit. But that's all you go to is find a tactic that works and use it. See, this is what happens. Not even 200. Fuck off. It's stupid. You do... like... 300 damage to two of them. You should be able to do 200 damage to three of them. But it doesn't even let you do that. It's stupid. So, okay, uh, keep going. Shouldn't take me too much longer to kill them all. Awesome, this is perfect, because I don't have to worry about that bullcrap. Boom, and they're dead. See, 306. That should relate to about 100 and... what? 104 each? No, 204, sorry. So, I don't know. What? You're ser and we get to strike first, so I'm just gonna do normal attacks. And miss with one of them. What? How did that hurt me? Fuck mm. off. Makes no sense. Unexpected attack. So they hit me first this time? We entered the effing battlefield. How does that count? Suck it, blue! Burn in hell. 646 damage. Technically it should only be 612. Oy, but at that rate, I mean, if it's 646, why wouldn't it be more when you're only attacking two of them? Mm. I don't know. I think this... It's kind of annoying it doesn't divide evenly, but I do get the idea that you spread it out, and not only will they divide, but they will also lose their potency. 
So I do understand. It's just kind of frustrating. Wow, I finished that before the end and I got 600 GP for it. That's another really good reason. Because they do give you a lot of experience or GP for it. So at this point in time, because you just got so much money, if you defeat 10 in a row, you pretty much get like 9 GP per. So coming here isn't going to cost you much in comparison, as long as you defeat all 10 in a row. But if you go and do 5, it's going to cost you double what you make, just normally. And then you get the 600 GP, and that just counts as profit purely, so... Really, yeah. Alright, let's go over here. Okay, we can now get into here, and use that crest. Oh, let's get what's in here. Arrows, perfect. Step on this and... That must be the spring of life. <gasps> no! Double exclamation mark! The water's dried up. It's hopeless now. Don't give up yet. There's someone inside. Let's have a look. That's what he said. <laughs> Let's see what's in this way. <gasps> it's the old fart. Aquaria is in great danger. I know that. We need wake water to melt the ice. But the wake water is dried up. It's hopeless. Hear me. All that's left of the wake water is in this bag. Take it and go back to Aquaria. Received wake water in a bag. Okay, well that just made it so much simpler now. Well, I'm going to take a peek out the bottom as I think that's a door there and we'll see what's up. Holy shit, we're on a cliff. Let's go back in. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Meet you back in Aquaria or Aquaria. You guys have a good one. And take care. If you like my channel, subscribe to it. Thanks.